Alright guys, how's it going? So I thought today, I would take a look at Blender colour palettes and I thought I would show you how to actually import GIMP palette files and we can use these to our advantage. Now one website I recommend is coolers.co It's a great little website for quickly generating colour palettes. Now there's a whole bunch of websites and I'll put a few links in the description down below, so check them out. So what I've done here is, I've hit export and I've saved this onto the desktop. And this will come in useful in a second or two. So we'll quickly jump into Blender, and of course, we'll spin the default cube of mystery. Ooh. Now generally when you're using colour palettes, it'll probably be in the texture paint, under the brush. So if we come to colour palette, we can create a new colour palette, and I'm going to call this colour, and we'll use a proper English spelling with a U. And all we do is select the colour and hit plus. Fairly simple, pretty intuitive. Now this actually gets saved with the Blender file, so we can actually import and append these files if needed. So one of the reasons I saved the colour palette is, if I quickly jump into layout, add, add in a reference image, I'll select the colour palette that I saved, you can see it here, I'll select the cube, I'll quickly jump back into texture painting. So what I can do here is, if I hold an S, that'll bring up the colour picker, and that lets me quickly grab colours and you can see here, it automatically adds them to the colour palette. So it's a very fast method for doing colour palettes. But I actually want to show you a really useful add-on. So if we come to edit, go to preferences, go to add-ons, and search for paint. You can see here, we have paint palettes. Now this comes built in with Blender, so there's no need to download it. All you need to do is enable it. And if we open up the properties on the right, you can see that we now have a new tab called Paint, and we have Colour Palette. So to give you a brief overview of the Colour Palette, it essentially uses GIMP Colour Palette files, which is .gpl. Now the great thing about the internet is, this GitHub user has a whole bunch of GPL files, I mean, huge collection. So what I've done here is, I've actually downloaded the whole package, and I'm going to select the directory that I saved the Colour Palettes to. So you can see here, a whole bunch, I'll hit OK. Now Blender actually likes you to save the file first before this will work. But when we open up the presets, you can see all the GPL presets that I have in this huge collection here. So let's pick something, let's go for Commodore 64, why not? Bit of nostalgia. And you can see the colour palette for the Commodore 64 is pretty cool. So we can actually reduce the columns, so if you, only, so if you like something like this, you can move the index and columns up and down. And all we do here is select the little dot and we can add this to our own colour palette. And that's pretty much how you use the add-on, it's very basic, but it comes in really, really powerful. And when I say there's a lot of presets, there's a huge collection here. And that's how you use colour palettes within Blender. Do me a favour guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, follow me on Twitter, I've got a couple of friends. <laughs> You know what to do. Peace.